So this is a more challenging abdominal sequence. We're going to start with the double leg stretch. So first of all, you're going to take your legs in towards your chest, hold onto your ankles and establish a nice high lift through the head and chest. Inhale, the arms are going to shoot out, the legs are going to shoot out, and then you exhale to wrap your arms around back to the beginning. Inhale, arms and legs shoot out, and exhale back. And you're working on minimal movement through your body. Inhale, and exhale around. We're going for 10 repetitions. Inhale, arms right by your ears, and exhale, knees tuck in tight towards your chest. And again, inhale, and exhale around. That's it, good. We'll go for four more. Inhale, and exhale. Eyes to your stomach, last ones. Inhale, good, and exhale. Sinking deep into the lower abdominals. Inhale, and exhale. And the last repetition, inhale. Arms go up past the ears, and exhale around. And now we're going to go into the single leg stretch. So from here, parallel legs, and you're going to clasp your hands on top of each other. Work on a nice 90 position, a 90 degree position with your leg. And this leg here is going to come up so your feet are in alignment. So you're working at eye level with your feet and you're going to switch as you exhale, keeping it at 90 and exhale two. That's it, you can use your arms and exhale three. That's it, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, a good right angle, and nine, good, and 10. From here, hands clasped behind your head. You wanna keep the height through your head and chest, and we'll go into the crisscross. So your legs will do the same, but we add a rotation towards the leg, coming into tabletop two and three, just to a right angle, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, maintaining that flexion, and 10, good. And now we're going to go into a more classical sequence with the single leg stretch. So now your knee can come in tight towards your chest and we'll do the same a little bit faster for 10. Tucking the knee in tight, two, and three, and four, and five, eyes to the abs, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Hands behind your head, you're going to twist towards the bent leg. Exhale, one, and two, and three, and four, lifting high, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine. Hold the last one for 10, open the elbows out to the side. The straight leg will go down and back up. We'll go for 10, two, and back up. Try to maintain that lift and rotation. Three, good, and four, and five, good. And the last five, trying to fold forward. Good, four more, and three, and two, and one, and rotate to the other side. Try to open the elbows out to the side, lower abs pull in, and two. Good, and three, maintaining that imprint through the lower back. And five, five more. Good, ribs folding down. Three, and two, and one. And you can rest. So you can tuck your knees in towards your chest, fold your hands over, hold this position for as long as you like. It was a very challenging abdominal sequence. <laughs>
lifting high through the head and chest. And seven, and eight, and nine. Last one, 10, and you're going to rotate towards the top leg here. And this one is just a straight switch. So you're going to exhale to switch to the other side. One, and two. So no pulses with these ones. Three, and four, rotating high five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, squeezing a little bit more out of it, and 10, good, the last one. So now you're going to flip onto your front, come onto your forearms. So from here, you'll have your elbows under your shoulders. You can walk your feet back a little bit, so you're establishing a nice, strong plank position. So here, we're just going to hold. So you want to feel like you're lifting your rib cage up towards your spine. You've got a slight tuck through the tailbone, so you're not putting excessive load through the low back. Broad through the collarbones, and just breathe. We'll go for two more deep breaths, in through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. And again, in through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Good, relaxing the knees back down. Give yourself a little bit of a moment and you're going to flip back onto your back. We're going to repeat that little saga that we just did. So lie back down, back to the legs up. So one leg will go up to the ceiling, the other leg straight out along the mat. Establish a nice high position through the head and chest. We're going into a pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, two, good, and three, and four. Exhale, five, and six, and seven, and eight, two more, nine, and 10. Hands behind the head, don't lo lose any flexion. One, still with the pulse, pulse, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, lifting high, and nine, and twisting now, and twist, and rotate, and five, and six, elbows are wide, seven, leg goes right down, and eight, and nine, lifting height, 10, good. And now you're going to flip onto your front again. We'll go back to the plank. So elbows underneath your shoulders, good. A nice strong position with your body. Try to feel your inner thighs engaging, that lift through the lower tummy, and just breathe there. We'll go for three more deep breaths. In through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Good, and your whole body is working. It's not just an upper body exercise. Good, one more breath in and out. And a little bit of a tuck through the tailbone. Good, and you can relax. Good, so from here you can just press back into a child's pose position. So your bottom will come back over your heels. Your head can go down and just relax there for a moment. So that's another very challenging abdominal sequence that you can do. These abdominal exercises are extremely challenging. So I urge you to work at your own pace. If you feel like your lower back is lifting off the floor and you're experiencing pain in your low back, to stop and have a rest. Alice will demonstrate some progressions and some regressions of these exercises, but you'll, it's nice to see something to work up to and you know what you need to, to think about during these exercises. So Alice is going to start on her back. Good, you have two options with the hands. You can have them interlaced behind the head, so your head should be heavy in your hands, but you are trying to achieve a nice strong flexion through the upper torso. Or you could have your arms reaching down by the sides, also up in flexion. So we're going to start lifting the head and chest. The legs can be straight up to the ceiling, as straight as you can. Reaching through the arms. The first exercise, we're going to lower and lift. So the low back sinks into the mat and back up. So as you go down and as you lift up, you don't want to lift your lower back out of the mat. I want you to feel your spine heavy on the mat. We'll just go for five, two more repetitions. Down, lift through the back of the legs. Good, and down, and up. So this is the ideal movement. If you need to cross the ankles to make the movement, make it a smaller range, that's absolutely fine. Keep on reaching, good. So it's the lower abdominals. Good, and three more repetitions. Down, 
and back up. Sink the abdominals down, deepen that scoop, and down, and up. Great, into the next exercise, good. So we have straight legs here reaching, and we walk. So this is extremely, extremely challenging. So as you're walking through your legs, you can go low, but you have to be able to lift back up again without arching the back. Just two more times, that's it. With anything, you can add repetitions, you can take them away, you can reduce it. Good, reach, 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 breathing into the movement and have a moment, lovely. So now we're going into leg circles. So the start position is exactly the same. You can fold forward, reach the arms down. The legs will shoot straight up to the ceiling. That's it. So the legs are going to open out to the side and around like a big circle and then straight up to the ceiling. So it's almost like a bit of a straddle, out and around, squeeze the inner thighs together, lift straight up. Good, out and around, squeeze the inner thighs together, straight up. Working in the range that you can control, that you can control your pelvis, that you can control your abdominals. We're going to reverse the movement now. So legs will go straight down the centre, just as low as you can control, good. And down, around and up, three more to do. Reach a little further, try to lift a little higher. That's it, good, two more, and up. Good, last one, great Alice. And up, good, nice. And then from here, we flip onto our stomach. So turning onto the front, you can rest your forehead on your hands. Good, have a little moment's rest if you need to. From here, we engage through the backs of our legs, the lower abs will lift up. The inhale is the lift just through the upper thoracic. Exhale as you extend your arms forward and back underneath the forehead and returning. So it's an inhalation to lift and lengthen. Arms reach forward, good. Hold that ab connection, replace the hands and lower down, good. 10 of these is good. Keep the movement flowing and reaching and return and down. Good, the legs stay down on the mat. Good, and reaching and return and down. Good, inhale. Um, shoot out. Ideally, you would have your biceps by your ears as you take your arms out. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Two more. Good. Supporting the movement with the legs, reaching through the arms. And back down. Last repetition. Inhale. Abdominals lifting, lengthening through the spine, lengthening your body. Good. Nice. Okay. Have a moment's rest. There's one more strong abdominal exercise to do. So take your time and when you're ready, we'll flip back onto our backs. We'll go for a scissor. So back onto the backs. Good. So the start position is exactly the same. Good. Nice. So we have one leg up, the other leg straight out. Good. Reaching the arms long, we lift the head and chest. So you can exhale to lift up and reach. And from here, it's a scissor. It's a switch in the air. We're just going for 10, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Bend the knees in, have a rest. Good. The last one is the helicopter, a very advanced exercise, something to work up to. So we're reaching the arms down, lifting the head and chest the last time. That's it, good, reaching the arms, one leg up, one leg out. Good, so it's a scissor to start, we do two switches. Switch and switch, and from here we go around the world and back, good, and switch, and switch, around the world and back, and switch, and switch, around the world and back. Last time, switch and switch, dig a little deeper for the last one, and back. You can relax your neck, relax your shoulders, let your knees drift out to the side, hug your knees to your chest and be very proud of yourself. We're going to go through a few exercises to challenge your sides and your obliques. 
So Alice is going to set herself up on her elbow. So your elbow should actually be directly underneath your shoulder. Your top leg is on top. And from here, you're going to take the top hand to your waist. Um, from this position, you're going to straighten out your legs and see if you can lift up into a nice long diagonal line so you have energy lengthening out through the crown of your head. From here, you're going to dip the hip down. That's it, bending the knees, and then you extend back up. That's it. We'll go for 10 repetitions. So a little bend through the knees and extend. That's it, a little bend through the knees and extend. And remember to push the floor away so it's as much about the bottom waist as it is about the top waist. Inhale and exhale to press up. Inhale, exhale as you press up, opening through the chest. Your eye line should be straight ahead so you're not rotating. That's number eight. We'll do two more repetitions, push the floor away. That's it. And the last repetition, push the floor away. Great, and then a moment to regroup. The next exercise will be up on the hands. So this is very challenging for your wrist. So work at your own pace. If you need to stay on your elbow, you can stay on your elbow. And it's a bit of a side reach. So the beginning part is the same. We're going to press up now onto the hand. That's it, so we're establishing a nice straight long T. From here, you're piking the hip. So you pull the waistline back as you reach to the ankle. That's it, and then back to the T position. From here, you can bend the knees, have a little rest. That's it, look towards the feet. And again, so we're pressing up, make a T position. The waist pulls back and you reach, it's a pike. That's it, reach, reach, reach. Back to the T position, good, and a rest. That's it, three more repetitions, up to the T. You pike the hips, you push back through that supporting arm, and back to the T and the knees soften, come back down. Two more repetitions, up, good, exhale, reach to the back heel, to the T, and soften the knees. And again, you're nearly there, straight up. Good, the ribs pull in, the abdominals pull in, you reach, you reach, you reach, back to the T position, and the knees soften, great. From this position, we're going into something called the crocodile. So it's something similar to a teaser in classical Pilates. So you're going to support your body with one arm back, slightly on a diagonal. The legs will shoot straight up. That's it, the arms will reach up, the hand will reach to the toes. As you inhale, the arm goes up, the legs go down. Exhale, everything closes. We'll just go for 10. Inhale, holding that stability, exhale. Good, up and down, inhale and exhale. Remember, there's no arching with this as well. So you want to keep that scoop, that deepening through the lower abdominals. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and legs reach up. Good. Inhale and exhale. Good, deepen. This is number eight. And up. Two more repetitions. And exhale. Good. Last one. And Exhale, beautiful. Let's go to the other side. So take a moment if you need to. That's it, so we'll set up on the other side, the elbow underneath the shoulder, the top leg is in front. That's it, so a good strong position with the upper body, abdominals drawing in and up. From here we exhale to push the floor away. And down, 10, and exhale, push the floor away. And down. And again, drive the feet into the floor. And down. And exhale. And down. Good, that lift from underneath. And down. And exhale. And down. Good, and exhale. And down. Two more repetitions. Good, push through, try to dig a little bit deeper. Good, support the body. And you're there, lovely. So that's 10. So we're just going to go for five of the next exercise. So we'll set it up if you can on your wrist. If you want to stay on your elbow, you also can. So we press up. So you're going up to a nice T position. It's a pike. So you pull the abdominals in, reach to the back heel. Rotate back, feel that long line, and then the knees will soften. And again, straight to the T. You pike, you push into the floor, lift the abs, lift the hips, and back to the T, and soften the knees. Three more repetitions, and again, straight up. Ribs draw in, 
Reach, 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 reach. And back, great. And down, two more repetitions. Straight to the T position. Good, lift, pull, 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 pull. Good, open the chest and back down. The last repetition. Good, into the floor. Good, scoop the abdominals. Reach, 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 reach. Back to the T and you're there. Beautiful, into the crocodile. Okay, so on a bit of a diagonal, you can aim yourself. So there is weight in that back arm and the back hand. The legs will go up, that's it. And remember, inhale, exhale to close it up. Keeping that contraction, so you're really keeping that scoop through the lower abs. 10 if you can. If you can't quite get to 10, that's fine. Just work at your own pace. So if you're arching, you may need to stop. Inhale and exhale, good. Inhale and exhale, good. Inhale and everything closes, good. Reach, that's number eight. And back, two more, you're nearly there. And pull it up, good, rest if you need to. And you're there, lovely. So just take your time in a stretch. If you like, you can fan your knees out to the side. Soften the breath, soften the shoulders. Just fold forward, take your time there and you're done.